where the death toll from the typhoon Rai has now topped 200, with more than 50 people still missing. More than 300,000 people have been displaced in what is said to be the strongest typhoon to hit the Philippines in recent years. The super typhoon smashed the islands with wind speeds of 195 kilometers per hour. The visuals on your screen show the amount of destruction caused by the typhoon. The storm has knocked out communication lines, ripped off roofs and has flattened buildings in many areas. The rescue operations are now underway in the devastated regions. Kahit konting tulong man lang na ano, maparating man lang sa amin dito, yung taga gobyerno ngayon namin kailangan talaga yung tunay na gobyerno. Ito yung ito yung inaanap namin na gobyerno na handang tumulong sa amin kahit ganit, ganit, ganitong kalagayan namin, sir. Iniintay namin, sir, kung sino man sila, sir, yung may magandang kaluuban lang. Tulungan lang sana kami. One of the worst affected areas is the holiday island of Sergao where the storm first made its landfall. During a media briefing, Sergao governor said that the island was totally devastated and estimated repair costs would be more than $400 million. Philippines President Rodrigo Duterte flew to the region on Saturday to review the situation. He promised $40 million as federal aid for the devastated areas. Typhoon Rai has sparked comparisons with Super Typhoon Haiyan that ravaged the Philippines in the year 2013. Haiyan was the deadliest cyclone on record in the country, leaving more than 6,000 people dead. Meanwhile, heavy rain and strong winds have forced evacuation of thousands of people living along the Vietnamese coastline. Typhoon Rai has now strengthened to a second peak intensity, Category 4 storm, this as it approaches the coast of Vietnam. Now, the approaching storm has already killed one fisherman and has sunk five vessels. The Philippines is very prone to natural disasters due to climate change. It is hit by an average of 20 storms and typhoons every year. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.